A7 is another application problem on length and midpoint. Show that the mid segments of the square with vertices A, B, C and D form a square. The square is drawn for us. Let's figure out where is A, where is B, C and D. A is 2 minus 12. So A is 2 minus 12, x value 2 and minus 12. So that is A for us. We'll write A here. B is minus 10 minus 8. So minus 10 minus 8 is B for us. C is minus 6 and 4. Minus 6 and 4 is C. And D is 6 and 0. There we have D, right? Show that the mid segments of a square with these vertices also form a square. So we have to find the midpoint of each, right? So I'll not do this exercise for you. But what you can do is find the midpoint so we'll just make a framework for you so midpoint of we can start from any side so say a b so first find midpoint of a b right you can add x and x y that is one then find midpoint of b c and then midpoint of c d and midpoint for d a They form a square, that means once you have those midpoints with you, right, then you find the distance between the two. Correct? And show that the distances are same. Correct? So that is how you are going to do the problem. Let us say midpoints, we call them P, Q, R, S. Let's say these are P, this is Q, let's say this is R, and this is S. Let me write here P, Q, R and S. Now what you need to do that after finding the midpoints you have to show that PQ equals to QR is equals to RS is equal to SP. This is what you need to do. Correct? And you know the formula for midpoint? The formulas are for midpoint, the formula is, for the midpoints, you have formula of x1 plus x2 divided by 2 is the x value and y1 plus y2 divided by 2 is the y value. And for the distance, the formula is square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. Correct? Once you do your calculations, you will get the result. Okay? Thank you.